Hey guys, it's Bro Uwak, and the greatest event and game mode has came into Overwatch 2, and it's the April Fools event. <laughs> this includes a game mode where every single hero not only got a special voice line or a couple of voice lines, but also changes. Every single hero got changed, where it also includes Torbjorn's turret sticking to the wall, being able to fly in the air as Zenyatta, and also Smauga. You'll see what I mean by that in a little bit. But again, every single hero got changed, so in this video we're going to be going over all of the hero changes and also showing off some of the voice lines. But if it isn't obvious, these changes are only in the April Fool's game mode. They're not going to competitive, but if we like some of them, maybe we can see them in the future. Pressing kill! Diva's change is actually pretty sussy, where you can move backwards with your booster, but if you quickly cancel the boost, it resets the cooldown to 1.5 seconds, almost encouraging you to back it up as D.Va into the enemy. Also, the knockback on the ultimate got increased by 900%. God dang. You can't get me. Doomfist's power block and meteor strike also empower your next quick melee, and on top of that, the power block movement speed got increased to 1.25%, meaning that you can move a little bit quicker when you're blocking as Doomfist. Cut, 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 cut. Junker Queen's Jagged Blade now magnetizes Junker Queen herself. So it's it's kind of like Widowmaker's Grapple, where if you throw the knife, you'll go where that knife is, whether it's in the wall or an enemy. You can check in, but you can't check out. Malga got the funniest change, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he got tiny. He's teeny tiny Malga. But they did increase his health from 350 to 25. And they also changed his incinerary gun where hitting enemies that are on fire will ignite them. So a very goofy change for Malga. <laughs> oh yeah, and his voice also got the small effect. Check yourself or wreck yourself. Arissa stinging the page out of scatter arrow because now her javelin ricochets just once and it also explodes when it sticks to an enemy. <laughs> You will suffer as I, Ramatra, have suffered. Your torment will outlast the stars when the universe dwindles into dust. There you will be, still suffering as I have suffered. I'm not even kidding. That is Ramatra's ultimate voice line on April Fool's. But when it came to his changes to April Fool's, his base armor got increased from 100 to 225. But just like his voice line, he got a whole laundry list of changes that are just way too long to list off. <laughs> but what you need to know is that Annihilation moved from his ultimate to his ability one, and his nemesis form got moved from his ability one to his ultimate. Have a seat! Reinhardt's is very confusing, I'm not gonna lie, but think of it like ping pong. That's the whole idea, where his barrier field, if you press primary fire, it reflects projectiles, and the health does decrease by 20% whenever you try to use this deflect. The barrier also shrinks in size whenever you try to use the reflecting ability, basically the ping pong ability. <laughs> you get scrapped. Roadhog got the lamest change, I'm not gonna lie. They increased the size of his pig pen, and whenever you throw the pig pen ability at an enemy, it now does 40 damage, and the speed is increased very slightly. Again, a very lame change. Sigma's is very goofy, where his acceleration rock, it moves a little bit slower now, but you're able to command it whenever it drops. You just gotta press the input to his acceleration ability, again, to make it drop. Winston. Winston has the no aim play style to the full extent here with his Tesla cannon secondary fire now chaining between enemies and if you punch while you primal rage it will also chain electricity as well. The balls to win the prize. Our boy Hammond, whenever you move sideways like a crab, you have a speed increase of 55%. Along with the crab play style, you're also going to deal increased damage whenever you move sideways. So really, j just think of Hammond like a crab now. And you want to shoot like a crab. Groove hug. And the final tank changes with Zarya, where if you bubble somebody or if you bubble yourself, you will increase the size of that bubble target by 1.75%. Fred! I mean, Bob! Do something! The iconic Fred! I I, I mean, Bob voice line is back for Ash, but this time Bob is now a regular ability where you just gotta scroll up on the mouse reel. I don't know what that is on console and it'll call Fred right away, but he won't stay for long actually at all because he's just gonna jump out of the fight right away. Bash's is pretty fun because now the default form is his turret form or his assault form. You also once again get a whole laundry list of changes 
with this assault form but whenever you reconfigure you're gonna go into your recon form and you also get a 35 speed boost and you also fire shotgun blasts instead of just your normal single shot bullets it's past your bedtime can't see changes i'm not gonna lie it's probably the most confusing even though it's not that confusing so basically you have a new passive and whenever you mark an enemy basically what i'm assuming is pinging them if you kill them you gain 50 health until the next time you die after five kills you gain one health each time I, I I don't I don't know guys. I'm better than you at Echoes is so goofy. So first and foremost, the focus beam, if you target somebody that's within eight meters, you're gonna damage them as if they are already half health. So basically you're gonna get double damage from close targets, but the duplication <laughs> it, it's random. If you try to copy a doofus, you could get a Hanzo. If you try to copy a Genshi, you're gonna get an Orissa. It's just the luck of the draw. <laughs> you can now parry with because if you press primary fire at the perfect time when deflecting you can get a critical damage with the projectile they decided to bring back scatter arrow but like for real this time because whenever you storm arrows the ricocheted arrows increase from one arrow to now five arrows just i just i can't stand this company dude they want to see me suffer everyone stand very still junkrat you can now detonate your frag launch with secondary fire i'm not gonna lie this one kind of sucks but hey it, 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 timing wise it works well with junkrat like it's an actual good change for him it's just not that fun <sighs> May gets a brand new ability called Avalanche Launch, where if you jump in the air, it activates a single pillar of May's wall and it puts it right underneath her. Try and shoot me. You won't. Fear now can jet land. What that basically means is that when you fly high in the sky, you can sandbag. You just gotta crouch in the air to activate it and it'll dash towards the ground. Happy, happy birthday. I actually really like Reaper's Change because now you can single shoot a shotgun. You don't have to go back and forth. You can just shoot the left shotgun all you want. They also increase the bullet size from 8 bullets to 16 bullets, but they also decrease the overall damage from 5.4 damage to 2.8 damage. Bye bye, bad guys. I can barely see Sorgen's Change, but basically it's like Zarya's Grab. Her Disruptor Shot can now pull enemies whenever it's deployed, and you can also deploy the the disruptor shot early by pressing E or whatever it's bound to before it makes contact with like a wall or the ground. Who took my dentures? Soldier 76 is now the Call of Duty guy because you're able to run and shoot your assault rifle at the same time. But uh, the spread to his assault rifle did increase by two, so you're not gonna be hitting as much shots than if you were just not running and gunning. Get DDoSed. I'm not gonna lie, it was very hard to show off Sombra's change because, well, it requires the enemy team to group up, but but killing an enemy infected by her virus, it will attempt to spread it to a nearby enemy. Again, I couldn't really show gameplay because the enemy team doesn't play with each other. I am blocking you. The trolling Symmetra Teleporter is back because whenever you place a Symmetra Teleporter, it will provide an exit route for all enemies to teleport to. And they just simply gotta press F or the interact key and they'll go to that teleporter. <coughs> LAVA! Torb got the funniest change in this update where you can now stick your turret to walls, ceilings, and allies. <laughs> You can literally put a turret on a Winston and it'll move with the Winston. Also, yourself as Torby, you can put the turret on yourself. It's just so goofy. This is why I love this update. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoops. Tracer's change is one of the best in the April Fool's update. So if you recall as Tracer, it'll send you either back in time or in the future. If it sends you back in time, you'll get a special old grainy effect and you shoot little tiny pistol guns, which does kind of a lot of damage. But if you recall into the future you're gonna shoot a big spread version of the pulse bombs and it'll have this like glowy futuristic effect wall hacks initialized widowmakers i don't really care for that much the grapple hook now has three charges which is actually very useful for widowmaker and if you get a critical headshot with her it'll give you an additional grapple hope this helps we've made it to supports and Anna's is oh my god i love this meme sleep dart so basically when you sleep dart an enemy it'll make them levitate in the air and they'll also receive fall damage whenever they land on the ground <laughs> shoot through the big glowy thing 
I don't really care for Batista's change. The Exo Boots, it'll now lunge you forward, but it's not that much of a lunge. And the Amplification Matrix also increased projectile shots through it by 200%. Mace to the mace to the mace to the mace to the face! Brigitte's. Oh my god, mommy. Mommy. Mommy, please! Step on me, mommy! They increased her size, and they also increased the armor from 50 to 150, and they basically made her a tank, I'm not gonna lie. So, now the shield barrier is her ultimate shield barrier that has 700 HP, and her rally, it now resets your shield bash cooldown, but it increases the movement speed from 1.15 to now 1.3. Like I said before, Brigida is the newest tank in Overwatch 2. SPF 15 is useless! So, I'm actually gonna show off Iliari's passive first, because because whenever you're on a sunny map, your hair will always glow versus a nighttime map where you won't glow because, well, her solo is activated whenever the sun's out. But her Captive Sun Ultimate got a whole laundry list of changes, basically just increasing her attack and her movement speed and the recharge of her healing. Just aim for the head. They made Kariko into a true ninja. So first and foremost, the Protection Shuzu now grants you a 10% damage boost, healing boost, and a movement speed increase, but it also increases is your jump by 700 percent bro <laughs> this also includes your allied teammates as well but kariko herself also got a new passive where you can double jump just like genji if, if i see even one axe so help me. Life Weaver got the simplest change where his pedal platform now rises to 20 meters. Previously, it was only 8 meters. And yes, the pedal platform does in fact have googly eyes. Who wants a billion hit points? Lucio got a lot of changes, a, a few confusing changes. So basically, when you shoot with your speed song, you shoot three bullets in your volley. But if you have a heal song on, you shoot five bullets per volley. The ammo also got increased and also the recovery got decreased. But whenever you ult with Lucio, it'll knock enemies that are hit with the sound waves. Time to connect the dots. Mercy mains, you can now DPS. Well, you've always been able to DPS, but you can shoot bullets through your staff. So they took away the blaster because now you can just shoot through the staff and you won't have to worry about reloading because it'll just automatically regenerate. But if you want to regenerate twice as fast, you got to still heal your teammates or after not firing for four seconds. So basically, you can be a DPS Mercy, but you still want to heal your team. You and they also nerfed DPS Moras because they swapped the heal and the suck. So basically, how it works is that originally the spray that you would use to heal now damages enemies and the suck that would originally damage enemies now heals your teammates and it still sticks to them too like it'll still automatically heal them if you're near the hitbox which is awesome this is a change i actually want to see come into the game become unkillable some conditions may apply. And the final change is Zenyatta, where you can fly if you use your secondary charge fire. And that's the only time that you can fly with him. So you got to hold down your orbs and they'll send you in the air and you will shoot. But you will be able to shoot a total of eight orbs instead of five. You will shoot them a little bit faster, but the damage overall got decreased by 30%. So once again, a lot of your laundry list of changes in exchange of being able to fly as Zenyatta. But those are all of the hero changes in the April Fool's update and let me know what your favorite hero change is from all these changes because there's some really good ones that I wouldn't mind seeing come into the game but until the next time I love you guys thank you guys for watching more of our two videos to come and bye